tonight from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Super Bowl 48 back in 2014. There's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Giants defense set to go here in this return to football game. The season opening Thursday night matchup. And one of their top defenders, certainly this man at corner in his sixth NFL campaign. And one of the notes that I write down continuously when I watch him on tape, just how tough and physical he is. Whether he's playing the run or playing the pass downfield. In a lot of ways in run support, he's like an extra linebacker. And they'll begin on the ground with Gainwell. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Mayfield to throw it. Over the middle here to Brown. That's on the guard, Cody Ford. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Mayfield. Here's a screen with Gainwell. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment, the first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Throwing Mayfield. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Giant defense ready to go to work. They lead 7-0. Trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. Back to it after the pick six. Mayfield. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. Now Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Mayfield. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. And again, it's Mayfield. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. 11 yards for number 11. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. On first and 10, it's game well. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. But well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep a defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On second and seven, Mayfield. Open, man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. The Giants defense back out there once more. They'll have to defend the short field here as this drive begins with a first and ten. Following the interception, Mayfield. Open man has got her, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Mayfield now. That's to his running back, Gainwell. 
And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. The giant defense ready to go to work. They'll search for a stop here in the second quarter of a game that's all tied. They start the drive here with Gainwell. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down, Gamewell looking for space. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. On first and 10, Mayfield. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From just shy of midfield, Mayfield. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a handoff coming left is Gamewell. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go play action. Mayfield. Well, he's trying for Smith-Schuster, but it's intercepted. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh. Fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. The Giants defense back out there once more. Remember, they had the interception taken in by their veteran stalwart on that previous drive. And he'll be hoping to force another turnover here for sure as this drive starts with a first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Quick slant to Brown. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range down just shy of the 20. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. 
So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. In the 1 o'clock games, the one that catches the eye happens in Big D. At AT&T Stadium, a tough test for the Cowboys, as that promises to be a tight one. Excellent games in the late afternoon window as well, one being out in Los Angeles, where it'll be the Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And lastly, in the national game on Sunday night, definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected, all tied through one half of play. With the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Giant defense ready to go to work. They'll be seeking a stop here for sure in the third quarter of a tie football game. First down, Mayfield. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their own. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. At issue here, does the football make contact with the ground before he secured it? And I think some of these angles are going to give us a pretty good look. Secured is the important part because the ball can touch the ground, but it can't be loose when it does. So that's what they're going to have to try and figure out. The drive will start with an option going left. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game. And you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. They'll try the left side with Gamewell. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down.
The Giants defense back out there once more. They hold the lead here in this third quarter, but every drive important in a one-score game as this one begins first and ten here. down throw for Mayfield and his throw here is incomplete from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered that took his attention elsewhere to no avail second and ten third quarter of the season opener Mayfield looks to throw and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Deron Payne. What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. To throw, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Giant defense ready to go to work. They've been terrific all game long, have not let this offense get on track, and they try to close this one out here in the fourth. He's going to keep this again, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Mayfield on play action. He's going deep for Brown. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late. And they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. And that will be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. The Giants defense back out there once more. They're going to need to bear down a bit with this drive beginning all the way out past the 40-yard line. Mayfield on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll set up to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Mayfield. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. 
Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Giants are going to take over in great field position. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a success. The Giant defense ready to go to work. They've been the better of the two sides so far. They've got the two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they try to see this one through to the finish. Here's Baker. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. Now Mayfield. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Mayfield. And that's complete to Brown. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Pass complete, Goddard. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. They'll give him four yards there. And that will bring up second down. Mayfield to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Giants will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Giants, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And now they get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.